Can foyers the pillars of the earth? As you can see, I already played a little bit of this game, just to test if everything was working right. Let's replay the tutorial, why not? It was interesting. Walk by left-clicking where you want to go. Move your cursor around the room when it changes to icon, I guess. Click the right mouse button multiple times to think about the object. It changes when I move over the window. It says masterfully crafted. Sally knows what she's doing. Strange when your children surpass you. To see all objects, characters, and exits you can interact with, click and hold the mouse wheel, or press and hold the spacebar. Those were Tom's tools. He wanted me to have them. Best tools I ever had. And it repeats. Uh, move your cursor around the room when it changes to the icon again. Left click to interact. Interacting with the tools. Let's stick these. Why not? Your inventory is displayed at the bottom of the screen on the left hand side. Click your tools to equip them. Your tools are now equipped, left click on something to use them on. Let's use them on the gargoyle, why not? But first... Not done yet. I'll have to finish it. Almost done. Let's just do it. To work on the gargoyle, left click when the white dot is within the green area. Just in case you're interested, if you don't do it right, which I did the first time, you just get to try again. Alright, Sally's over here. My daughter, as stubborn as me, and as stubborn as her mother. And it repeats again. Seems like it always repeats after three times. Let's talk. Left click to choose your answer. Later in the game you can also skip lines of dialogue by clicking left. Wave to get your daughter's attention. Cough to get your daughter's attention. Well, this is the Middle Ages, so we'd probably be coughing all the time. <clears throat> if you want to stay silent, wait for the timer to run out. Tell your daughter you will return later. Ask your daughter to come with you. Eh, let's ask her to come with me. When your cursor changes to an arrow icon, click to explore another area. Double click on an exit to speed things up. Like that. You can also see exits when you press space. So far so straightforward. Eleven thirty five. This should do. 
how do you feel? Oh, can't complain. <laughs> After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. Oh, I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. And Shiring, I will find the job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape? Maybe strengthen the town's defenses. Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. It took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? The old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. All right, now let's see if this does the trick. And we can play again. All right, let's see. Nothing seems to be interactable except the firewood. All I need is a few good sparks. Flint and steel should do the trick. It's good that I always have some with me. And it repeats. Oh, you're freezing. The flint is dwindling, but the steel still shines. All right, let's just... Straightforward enough. And there's light. Martha, you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No. It'll be proper water for my family. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters. Something that stands for eternity, or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time? Or would you keep on looking? Well, your family lasts forever if you raise them right, so... I'd be glad to stay. Would you now? Just promise me you'll think about it. She doesn't seem convinced. <laughs> uh, find some proper water. It's a clue. You can. You just collected a clue. Clues work like items. Use them on characters to talk about them, and use them on objects to ponder how the clue and the object might Maybe be connected. Maybe we can sell the baby. Alfred, I'm joking. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Except, all right, let's see, what do we have? We have staff, it's the first tool one would need to build a new church, used to make sure the construction faces east. Its wood is has withered, but it should would still do the deed. Makes sense, all you really need is the ring. No, why did it have to come down just now? All right, let's examine Agnes. The baby left. is due in the coming well, weeks. we're here now. Guess there's no use complaining. But Agnes is still holding up nicely. I need to get her under a roof. Makes sense. And it's going to be three again, isn't it? Yes. Martha. Those are our last turnips. If I don't get work tomorrow, we will have to start begging. Stomach grumbling. Hungry. I'm fine. And she lied. Alfred says, Alfred's become a bit stubborn, but he'll come around. He's a good boy. If you say so, it will keep them warm for the night. I hope it will be the last. I hope for so much these days. Let's do something with the metal pot. I like Salisbury. Our last pot. I wish we had stayed. They have no work for your father. So what? I can work. You're a mason, just like Tom. If he can't find work, you can't either. Our last pot. I'll need it for the water. Oh, this only repeats after two. That's weird. Let's just pick it up. One of the last things we haven't had to sell yet. The fire is really loud. 
You're a little girl. You can all help. We'll get through this together. It seems like I interacted with everything. Let's try and use the clue on something. Once I've found some, that's where it'll go. Did you see a river nearby? No, it's just woods. <sighs> well, that made sense. Ask the guy who went out to collect wood to, s to see if he found any water. Might have saved us some time if we were lucky. Any idea where I could find some water? Papa, no. I'm doing my job and you have to do yours. Anything Quite else right. unfair? I'll be right back. I know. Well, that was straightforward. It's just a staff, not a divining rod. Oh, that's too bad, I guess. Let's walk to the right, it's always to the right. That's video game logic for you. Into the forest. I think I forgot to examine it, but I don't think it would have been that interesting. Oh, nope, wait, I'm just walking back. Not required, apparently. A frozen puddle. A frozen puddle of water. They deserve better than that, but if we cook it, it'll be fine. We also have dirty snow, plain snow, dirtied with crow muck. There must be something better. Crows. Pesky beasts. I hope they stay away from our camp. Uh, it's another double repeater, I guess. I'm gonna stop mentioning that, it's pointless. We also have rocks. Strong granite. If broken down properly, these would make a wonderful porticus. Or just another plain boring door. Huh. I guess he doesn't really look forward to making huts the rest of his life. Let's see if we can find some proper water with the hint. Mm, no water here either. Only dirty snow. That wasn't really helpful. Dirty snow. My family shouldn't have to eat dirty snow. Ah, that should be enough. I just need to break the ice. Nice to meet you. Houses and sheds. Walls and roofs. I'd be glad. I should be glad. That should do. Take. Well, we have a bucket of ice, so let's boil it, I guess. Let's see what, if there's anything more over here. Oh, there's two exits. Thorny bushes. Let's get lost. Nah, no getting through there. Alright then. Deeper into the forest it is. Just more woods down that way. Is this a cut feature? Whatever. If you double click, you go there faster. And we're back. Uh, let's melt the ice right away. Um, did you think about what I asked you? I'll take... I would take the job. 
dreaming of building a cathedral was foolish. When we get to Shiring, I'll take the job. Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Well, if you start with the roof, uh, well, that won't work so good. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together, that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> Well, it will be hard to build the windows if you don't have a door. Now, we mustn't forget the doors. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. But isn't it still dark in there? It is. That's why we need some windows. So what do you suggest? Well, let, let her think for herself. So, what do you suggest? Windows, of course. Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that, and have so many windows. So what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfect. Walls, the roof, the windows, everything. Perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry. Awe or hope? I don't know, I guess looking up to something's always good. It's more directed than hope. It will teach them all. Like this? <laughs> Mama? Let's help Agnes. Uh, what does she need? This might help to keep her warm. Well, that's a good idea, I guess. Let me cover you. Well, let's just talk with her. Let's ask she I don't know. What can I do to help? Stay with me. Will she die? She'll die, right? Oh, well, that wasn't very directive. What else can we do? What else can I do? Give the children something to do. All right. Let's look around. Children. Children. Alfred first. Alfred. Let's build a bigger fire, I guess. Let's have a bigger fire. More wood. I can do it. Let me. 
Ah, uh, no, let's Al let Alfred catch Alfred the wit. He has to do it. But I want to help too. Uh, the reeds seems very specific. Two lengths of strip, each big enough for the necklace. What for? You'll see. And she's off. Alright, kids are gone. What else? What else can I do? I put more wood on the fire. Can you feel the warmth? Yes. What else can I do? Just stay with me. Straightforward enough. Is there anything we can do while looking around? Alfred. Take care of your little sister. She, she's all right. She's busy. Let me help too. I guess that doesn't work. It's not long now. Be ready. Get more water. Take snow if you must, and make it warm. Right. More water is always good, I guess. What else can I do? Just stay with me. It's not very... It's coming! Help me, Tom! It's coming! I can see it! looks horrible. He's perfect. A perfect boy. Music cut off there quite abruptly. You're still bleeding. It's alright. It will stop soon. Tom. Yes? Thank you for being my midwife. Do you remember the night I came to you, in your lodge, when you were working on my father's church? Of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. I hope you build your cathedral. I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. But don't do it for all. People are scared enough these days. Do it for me. Build a beautiful cathedral. For me. Papa, what's wrong with her face? Agnes. Agnes, wake up. So that was the tutorial.
The Pillars of the Earth from the Ashes Prologue. What you did, you think a cathedral should inspire awe. You told Agnes you would accept any job offered by the bishop, and you struggled to support Agnes during childbirth. Well, that makes me feel kind of bad. I wonder if she'd sur survived if I did better. Regardless, uh, it was just a tutorial, so I don't think it will matter that much. Outside of character empathy, of course. <laughs> Book 1 from the Ashes. Chapter 1. Uh, yeah, so this game is based off of a, a book, The Pillars of the Earth, in case you didn't know. Uh, I actually never read the book, so... I don't really know where it's going at all. Had come to an end. King Henry of England, son of William the Conqueror, had died. It was a time of poverty and death. In their despair, some had come to believe Christ and all his saints had gone to sleep. And that the pillars of the earth themselves had begun to crumble. Title drop already. Kingsbridge, a new day. Let's... Brother Paul, let's stroke a pony. It's never a bad thing. Can't wait no till... Welcome us. Who goes there? You just crossed the bridge, right? That'll be a farthing for you and a penny for your horse. Severely or just in form? Well, it is a novice. Monks and villagers don't have to pay a toll. Ah, sorry, I'm not good at this. I told Brother Paul. It's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. It's kind of weird. You'd expect that if he was at the toll bridge, he'd at least had some experience. Threaten or offer cheats. Eh, let's share. Let's make a friend. It is not much, but I can share this. An entire cheese wheel. But at least he didn't ate it in a couple of seconds, like in Skyrim. The cloth still smells of cheese that it was wrapped around. Let's take it. I didn't have a choice, but I let's take it anyway. It will be easier for you to fulfill your duties. Oh, I'm sure it will. Will you take care of my horse, brother? I've come to see Prior James. Prior James? That's him the bells are tolling for. Leave the horse here. I'll, I'll get it down to the Priory later. The fish should go nicely with that cheese. What? Why are they ringing the bells? Don't you know? The devil has come to Kingsbridge. The devil has come to Kingsbridge? Philip's Bible. You can use Philip's Bible objects to find out what the Bible tells Philip about them. Or use it on people to discuss matters of faith. So what I was gonna say is, I can't wait till the part of the game where the choice whether or not you've petted your pony will be of life and death. Uh, Philip's pony. Let's see what it does. Oh, pat it again. We're spoiling this pony. She is getting old. Wasn't St. John even before me? Hopefully many travels together ahead of us. Well, 